Hi there planners, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. Thanks so much for hopping on. So today's video is going to be a plan with me in my Erin uh, Condren Daily Petite Planner here. And we're using a lots of stickers. So if you guys wanna check out this plan with me, then keep on watching. So hey there, welcome back. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional. And today we are going to have fun planning with all the stickers. So I have a lot of my Happy Planner stickers here. A lot of the stickers here I pulled from Shop My Stash. So um, we're gonna plan like, since I use a daily, right? And normally I plan with you all like two days at a time. Uh, we're gonna try to plan the 23rd, the 24th through the weekend. So the 23rd through the 27th. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out. Um, Cause we're kind of getting prepped for go wild. We're trying to plan for it. Of course, there's other things that I have to um, do, but <laughs> it just seems like that's on the brain so far. Okay, so I think we have, um, I think we're rolling around nine days until, no, eight days, because I've been trying to put a countdown at the bottom, so nine days. So today would be eight days until, go oh, wild, wow. Okay, so again, I have tons of sticker books here. These are like my everyday stickers, so I have um, Mom Life, Handwritten Plans, Planner Basics, and Super Mom, which is falling apart on me. And then this was the stack that I shared and shot my stash. So I have Life is a Party, Pastel Rainbow, Happy Illustration. Actually, this I bought over the weekend. Um, it was on Clarence at Joanne's. If you guys watch me on my Instagram, I shared how, and I've talked about that, that Joanne's is always a hot mess. But this is on Clarence for 10. It has the llamas in here that I already have this one, but it, I just wanted to back up because I have used quite a bit from this one. This is one of my favorite ones. So it has a lot of cactus stuff. So if you're memory planning, you can pull some cactus. There's a lot of cactus in Anaheim. It's kind of more of a desert theme or landscape, I should say. Um, I know there's llamas in here. Here we go. So I thought I would have extra because I don't think I've used this page in my other one. So this was this is actually an extra. Um, neon lights, stick babe, and of course this big one that I made. Because um, I kind of want to go purple and then of course keeping it really colorful and bright. Um, last, no, I always want to say last week. Again, I will have to get used to using a daily, but... The last two days, um, I just used washi to cover up these headers. I used this one that has been my absolute favorite from Simply Gilded. I totally wish I got a backup of that. I'm getting really good use <laughs> out of this. So I'm kind of debating if I want to do the same thing and just cover up with washi and try to find stickers for my headers. That's why I pulled out handwritten plans. Um, so that's what I have going on. And of course, I do have more washi over here on my desk. Let's get started. Um, yeah, I'm trying to, a little countdown at the bottom. It's nothing too fancy. I was just using a mod liner and using some glasses to, um, showcase the countdown. I get a little nervous. I, I'm, I'm excited, but now I'm, I'm nervous when it gets close to it. I'm like, oh, I gotta think of all these things and make sure I have everything. Um, so I'm just gonna look through here, but I don't know if I want to use the glasses or if I wanna change it up and use something different. I may wanna use these unicorns. They're really cute. Even though their mascot is like a llama, I don't know why. If you guys know why, leave it in the comments down below. Um, okay, I think I'll just do that for now. So I'm just going to swatch the bottom here with my mild liner again. Nothing 
too fancy. And if you're new to my channel, how I use the daily is it's kind of like my catch-all and I kind of split this up in sections. Um, so here is like top priorities, things to get focused, which kind of um, goes into here in this column, which I also categorize. So I will split it up to things I need to buy or errands, or I'll make a little list to pick up some things. And then this section is for my kids. And then this bottom section is for uh, content creating work stuff that I have to do. And then I also get this section here and I use that for um, verses of the day and then going to the gym. That's where I put my workouts. Um, so that's how I use the daily. I think it's really great. I've been loving it. It's been really fun. Um, the monthly has been fun. So I absolutely love it. Okay. So again, I just put a swatch of color down and I guess I'm gonna use the little unicorns as my little icon sticker. And I'm gonna go with, um, I have white, pink, purple, and then this teal color, but I'm gonna go with the little white unicorns. And it gives me it gives me plenty of space. Again, I really like using the daily because I don't have to overwhelm myself with getting all the things down. And I kind of just put down what I need to get done. So I don't have like this huge list of things. I know for social media content, I do have another planner, a vertical planner that I kind of just use mainly for functional use and it's more of like a list of things, more of a list of things. And so this is just like my top things that I need to focus on. So I don't have to write down every little thing. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to also add the sticker book is weird. Way it's got that thing right there. It's hard to flip the pages. I'm gonna pull out these cute stickers that say awesome and magical. Put that on the little horsies right there. And then I'm gonna take my and write out eight days here seven days here okay. and then so to cover up these red blocks this one but it's really thick it's got like cactus on it. And then I have this cheetah one, but it's super light. You can see that red in there. I would have to white that out. That's a lot of white. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all this out and then lay my washi down. Okay, I'm simply just laying the washi over where I white out those boxes and it's nothing perfect. I am simply just covering it up and tearing it. So I'm not making this a perfect thing. So then we have to cover up this red, so I need to get a smaller washi here, and I have this one with the peace signs. This would be fun. I think I'm going to use this one. I think this is wrong, wrong. I don't think I have to white it out, or do I? I do. 
which this is not the best white out but it's the only one I have because it kind of pops back up I think my other white outs in my purse downstairs I'm so bad oh my gosh I cannot keep this straight I could totally use two though. I have this other Simply Gilded. It's like a sparkly, one of her um, Stardust washies. I'm gonna add this up at the top. And can I just tear that? Oh, we got stuff everywhere. And also, if you're new to my channel, I mentioned this before. I use, I just try to use all my stickers, and just when I do shop my stash, I just pull what I, what I'm in the mood for, or what, or seasons, like the type of season that we're in, will inspire me to pull some certain stickers. But I don't have like a kit that I go off of. I've noticed that a lot of Erin Condren planners use kits, which are great. Um, I just don't have like a collection of that at the moment. So I, I'm kind of just using what I have. Yeah, so I haven't really used a kit in a while. I did use some kits over the fall. I used some vertical kits. Um, but I haven't used any or bought any new ones in quite some time. I did notice that the Happy Planner just put out their spring release. That's so cute. Um, I haven't had time to look at it too much. I've seen some of them. A lot of the stickers, um, to be quite honest, are recycled, I've noticed. But I guess that's a good thing because those who are new to Happy Planner or haven't made a collection or build their own stickers, um, that's a great way for you guys to get some stickers that they haven't released in a while, I guess, but um, not a whole lot of new stickers for me to honestly purchase. The ones that I thought were cute was, of course, the Alice. I mean, that's super cute, but um, yeah, when the stickers are mostly built for a vertical layout, I just, I tend not to want to buy it either because I just, I don't use a vertical. You guys see me use this and the full boxes would take up my spread. So yeah, let me know if you um, decided to buy anything and what you bought. I don't think I'm really gonna buy anything. I don't really need any planners, but as far as stickers, I'm just, yeah, they're kind of repeats. So there's no point in me buying any, except for the Alice one, but I'm, I definitely will probably get that a little later. Just like when I bought the villains, um, I bought that later, so. Okay, I'm going to add in weather. Weather's been crazy here, and I think, I guess it's been crazy everywhere. So what I've seen on social media, it's so frustrating. Especially if you're trying to pack, like it's double the outfits or something like cloudy and rainy so let me add some color down actually that would be fun I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit better I think the sun's going to be out it may be still a little cold. And I did look, also what I did looked or filtered, I just was curious because again, I haven't had time to look at all the Happy Planner stuff. Um, I'm just gonna use this cloud and cut the lightning off of it. Um, 
because I was using my Go Wild planner that I set up, it's a mini, I was interested to see what minis they had, new ones. And um, I like using a horizontal layout in a mini and they only had one. <laughs> I was really shocked. They only had one. I'll have to look at that again, but correct me if I'm wrong. I was really like, really? <laughs> um, yeah, really strange. I think the sun's gonna come out later. It usually does, but like for a couple of hours or it just goes in and out when we get a cloudy, rainy day here in SoCal. So I'm just gonna write in my temps now. All right, high is 57, low is 40 with rain, 52 for Thursday. 40 at night or 40 for the low okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the weekend too okay I added the weather for the weekend and actually it's starting to warm up a little bit Saturday and Sunday usually when we hit like 73 74 and the sun's out it's usually warm so hopefully that stays um, because then we're rolling into the week of Go Wild. And at first, I checked in Anaheim and it was like 80s. And now it's like kind of dropping. So I'm a little nervous. But as long as it stays like 73, 74 with sun, it should be fine. But again, it just depends on what you're doing. If you're going to go wild. And if you plan on going by the beach though, it is cold. Just, you know, bring a sweater. Um, if you're someone who doesn't really get cold when they wear shorts, then you'll be good. But again, most of the time you'll be indoors, except for our events. Our parties are going to be outside. I did put on Facebook if they were going to, if they knew if they were going to set it outside where there's going to be fire pits or like heat lamp things, because sometimes they have that here um, in some areas. So I was just wanting to make sure, I mean, I know you get hot if you're dancing and such, and if you're wearing a onesie or something like that, but I'm not wearing a onesie. Um, I do have an outfit together that'll keep me warm and then I'll just bring a sweater or something. But um, what if people don't dance, you know? I feel like they should have it set up before or anyhow, even if you are dressed for the occasion. Anywho. Um, Okay, so back to this. Let's find this section where I put boxes down for workouts and verses of the day. So I kind of want to use this box to see if there's purple in here. Could use these. Storms don't last forever. Oh my gosh, I should totally use this quote somewhere. I can put it right here. And I'll cover this part. I'll put my verse in there. And then we need something for the gym. Use this pink box. That's cool. And then for this side, I'll go ahead and use another, uh, like this type of box. this sticker as our other fun box. Like quote box. And that will be like our divider stickers. 
for, you know, our um, category, categorizing your plans. Kind of section it off a little bit. Okay. So I can use this purple one as a gem. I kind of wish I want to use this one to go behind it like that. Okay. Oh, perfect. I have these I can use for um, my headers. So I know we have headers in there. I'm just going to put that to the side and... I'm going to pull out, I know one of these has, one of these OG sticker books has workouts. And then, there we go. Workout. There. Now I pull out my notes. Again, the washi does not stick. I, I don't think I have problems with the stickers, but the washi for some reason does not stick on this paper. Okay, so I have errands. Today's a half day practice, drop off, um, workout. A lot of work stuff. Um, I'm gonna bring this one out. I've been using this one a whole lot. It's kind of like my go-to. So we have errands here, and then it being on the white paper kind of pops. I also have errands. And the pickup to do or remember to pick up. So for that, then um, I'm trying to think if I want to how I want to categorize this. I guess I'll put school. I'll put schedule for the girls. I'm gonna put work just to make it easy for both sides. Work schedule because my child has a game and I have to pick drop off and pick her up that day. So back to the mom, OG1. I really love this sticker book. This is one of those sticker books because it has everything. Functional wise, like everyday stuff. So game day. I'll have to pick her up. And then these stickers here, though, I don't know why they say practice game. They should just say practice. Just, yeah, practice or just game. But I would have preferred practice. I mean, she has practice every day, so there's no reason to put that down. Usually I just write it in. Okay. And I'm trying to think. I remember one of these has minimal day or... Minimal day or half day. I know I bought some though. Okay, I'm gonna go back to here and put shopping because there's some things that I need to pick up by. I know there's shopping in here. It is. Shopping list here. 
here. I'm going to put remember. Okay, that looks good. So I pretty much got that. And then here I might put something else. Just when it gets to that, I will put a sticker there. Whatever I need. I want to add really quickly for some deco is the stick babe. So um, lots of cute little deco like essential stuff. Um, and it gives you a variety of sizes, so that way, whatever planner layout you're working with, like you got like these tiny ones, medium and large size, so it can help with, um, doesn't take up too much space. You have clear, you have matte. So I could use like, this one down here for work stuff right there and I'll do that for the other side the laptop and I'll put this kid here for my kids and then I don't think I have one for I don't think there's one in here like a sport one Put this one for errands and I put this one for shopping on the other side. That's so cute. I think that is good for this day. So now we gotta plan the weekend. And for here, I'm just gonna go back and actually. No, I'm going to use these because I want some nice weather. <laughs> Trying to put those good vibes out there. So I could use these sunglasses from Planny Thing. And I'm going to go ahead and white everything out again. I have the sunglasses again. I just thought about that because these are from Planny Thing and Amber's, Amber's going to be there. And so I'm so excited to meet her in person and that she's all the way from the Netherlands. I think that's fantastic. <laughs> um... So I'm gonna use this gold leper washi from Wrong Wrong. That's really cool. I love traveling. I love thinking about it, you know, and want to get out there and do that and stuff. Um, so I'm happy for her. I would love to go to Ireland. I think that would be a beautiful place to explore. Of course, my oldest wants to go to Japan, <laughs> which she will. We're just, um, I don't think Japan is fully open right now. So once that happens, she'll be able to do that. I'm going to put this palm washi here at the bottom because I am just trying to get all the sunny vibes. I know that's where I put my countdown, so I'm gonna have to do something else. Maybe I'll use a box, because this is a little bit thicker. I'm hoping um, Irene will play with more, release more of her smaller washi, or maybe something like this. I don't know if that's like a five or a seven. I like the larger washi, it's just, just when you want a variety in your planner layouts. But I can't wait to meet Irene. I know she's going, it's gonna be so exciting. Honestly, I wish I would have signed up for the university thing. I haven't signed up, I want to, but it's just everything is so costly. <laughs> um, but when they had Irene, I think back in, was it the fall? fall winter I wish I would have signed up then I think it was maybe October I don't remember quite but I totally wish I would have signed up on her class that, that just I think that would have been awesome okay so again with 
the countdown will have to find a box. Let me see if there's anything in here. So I can write in a space for that. Ooh, maybe I could use this bubble here. I think that would be cute. Yeah, just put it right there. Okay. And then, let's see. Friday, I have an appointment. So maybe we can just see what's in here. We can use these flags. I'll use big plans. Here, I'll, I will put focus on should I do blue or a different color? I should use pink. We'll put pink for um, my kiddos and then. Um, Go back to purple and put top priority for um, working. And so that'll be for Friday. And so Saturday and Sunday are on the same page. And Saturday I have to um, go to a meeting for track. And then I have to take my daughter to an appointment right after that. So there are some appointment boxes in here. So I'm gonna put, but first I have a meeting. Then right after that, I have an appointment. Do I have a purple? I'll use this blue, I'll use the darker blue so you can see it. So then we have an appointment, an appointment on Friday, so I need to put that down so I don't forget. Just use this same here. One of my kids has an appointment Friday. Fix this is a little crooked. this weekend sign yeah I'm gonna put this weekend here oh I didn't add washi to the top Let me add the washi I was gonna grab my tweezers but I'll just take it off like this Oh, let's add some washi. So let's see. I'm just going to add this rainbow one. Again, let's hope this stays because it tends not to stay down. At the weekend here. Okay. There was something that I was looking for. Okay, the chores one, which I want that for here. Okay, and then I did say that I had an appointment on Friday morning, which is my hair appointment. So I'm going to use a different sticker. This one is kind of cute. Put that down. That's early in the morning. Okay, so then I need a box for church.
see what's in Life's a Party. Oh, this one's nice. It's got like a fun glitter to it. So I'll put that there. And I'm gonna use this as a checklist on Sunday and just put this plan on it. This would be fun. You can for the gym. Not a lot of stickers for, I mean boxes. Oh, these are perfect. Try to make it to the gym for Friday. We'll see. I always just put that on there. Most of the time I do. Um, like Tuesday, I didn't go to the gym. But it's kind of getting close to that time of the month. And I know that's TMI, but usually that kind of drains my energy. Oh, this one has daily task, which I can put here, and I don't know if I'm going to make it to the gym these two days, so I don't know if I should put a box there. I'm going to bring this one back out, see if there's any smaller boxes. Oh, I can use these. Mm, we'll see. Oh, maybe I need a bigger box, actually. I'm gonna just use like another checklist. If I go to the gym, I go to the gym and I will just put that there to the side. I wish I'd use washi with these black lines here. That's kind of bugging me, but it'll be fine. Oh, well, this one's not really coming up, is it? Okay. So then I guess, okay, so then I'll just use one of the smaller boxes for the verses. found them. These were the smaller boxes that I was looking for. Verses of the day. I'll put one here. Put the other one here. And then on Saturday. Use the other blue one. Hmm, kind of want to put it here. It's going to be. Should I put it there? I'll put it right there. It's a new spot. Okay. Cute. So let's add in, I want to add in some of the cactus. So for cactus, I have happy illustrations. I have this one, which are petite, so they're a little bit small, smaller, so I can put in here just to give me those fun vibes of more warmer weather like totally need those vibes of we need warmer weather so i'm actually just going to stick these throughout the pages i'm just going to use the green ones i 
think that's adorable. Um, yeah, this one has more of the realistic cactus because they're more green. I wonder if I would um, layer it, how cute that would be. Oh, I love the contrast, it looks good. Cute, I love it. Okay, and then this one was for packing. I don't think, let's see. I may be doing some double checking packing and things like that. Again, I will put like headers down for that once I start putting in more plants. But I kind of just give you guys an idea of like kind of what I do. Um, and of course I use all my sticker books. But I hope you guys enjoy these plants with me as I know mine are a little bit long. But that's just the way it is for now. <laughs> um, okay, so my appointment here, I'm getting my hair did. And that's exciting. I'm kind of nervous though. I just always get nervous when I go and get my hair done. So we'll use her. And let's see. We'll use her for work. And then for the weekend, now I'm using clear stickers, so I feel like I should be using clear stickers for the other side. Let's see. Just use the kids. Um, or she looks like a kid with a dog. And then some tacos, because I think we're gonna eat out since I am. That was the other thing I was gonna put down. So I'm just gonna like put these tacos around the page to make it fun. That's cute. That's what, That was the other thing that I was gonna put down. So I'm gonna bring back handwritten plans and grab dinners. I just couldn't remember because um, I've been trying to get back into cooking for everyone to eat. And what I mean by that is because <laughs> The sticker came up so um, if again if you've been following my other plans with me's or wellness you know that me and my husband were on keto and we're trying to get back off or like slowly moving off of keto introducing carbs again and so I was cooking for my kids separate meals and then we were eating factor delivered pre-made meals um, and so now I'm just trying to incorporate dinners and we're like so this we're eating on the on the weekend. I'm not cooking, but these days I'm making dinner. So you know what I mean? Like I'm I do all that in my other um, petite planner. I don't really share that, but um, it's a little boring. But like in the meal strategies at the bottom, I kind of write down dinners, ideas, and things. Okay, so I need to put just put. I'm gonna put dinner right here. And dinner right here. And then, yeah, we're just gonna do like takeout for these days. I think there is a takeout sticker in here. Alrighty friends, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this playing with me. It was super fun. Um, yeah, I'm having issues with stickers on washi not staying what i will do is add let's see if this works tape runner but i know my plans with these are a little bit different i'm sure everyone uses kits and things like that but again i just try to use up what i have i have lots of happy planner stickers 
And if I just pull the ones that I know that has things that I need, then it's all good. And this is pretty much how I've been using the Petite Planner. Um, I really love it. I just focus on things that I want to plan on and I, of course, make it fun yet functional because that's what I love. Um, and so, yeah, I have um, everything that I need at the moment of what I've put down. And I like categorizing everything. And then when I get things done, I will take my Tombow markers and highlight them. I've been loving that look. So I've been taking Tombow markers and kind of highlighting, kind of matching whatever the layout is. But this is adorable. I super love it. Oh, you know what? I didn't write in my... Oh my gosh. I didn't write in my um countdown. <laughs> well, I hope you guys still subscribe, you know? And this is definitely going to be a longer plan with me. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe got some tips. Kind of let it dry a little bit because I've noticed um, it skips a little bit using like a pin like this. If I, if I used a, a Sharpie, probably wouldn't. So six days. Oh, oh, shoot, almost messed up. Because this is the weekend. Six, five, four. Oh my gosh, I bet you guys were like, no, Sarah, it's a two day. Five. Okay, that means I need to get another story. All right. Oh, perfect. And I had an extra one. Okay, so we fixed that. Four days. Oh my gosh, it'll be four days on Sunday. Well, for me, anyways. I know other people are getting there earlier. Um, I'm going on Thursday. I know some people are getting there on Wednesday. All right. Okay. Anywho, I am so glad you guys took the time out of your day to sit down and plan with me today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to be here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and I will see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe and happy planning. Bye.